Hey, the Earth, I've been hearing whispers about a mysterious fifth gas giant. It's all very puzzling to me. Could you shed some light on this cosmic mystery? Ah, 4.3 billion years ago? This is going to be quite the story. Back then, Jupiter was quite the troublemaker. She hurtled asteroids at us, disrupted our orbits, just complete chaos. She moved inward towards the sun, an event known as a Grand Tack. Her plan was to collide me with Venus. Yes, you, Venus. I tried to warn you, Venus, but you were asleep, dismissing me as boring and nerdy. Just as I thought we were doomed, a hero from the outer solar system emerged. Before we talk about that, let's discuss about the Grand Tack. The Grand Tack is a hypothesis suggesting that Jupiter migrated from a distant orbit closer to the Sun before reversing course to settle in her modern day position. The fifth gas giant, often known to be innocent and humorous, intervened. She distracted Jupiter long enough for us to escape disaster. Although Jupiter eventually sent her away, maybe for good, this brave planet sacrificed herself to save the inner solar system. As my hero faded into a wide thought in the expanse of space, I knew I had to learn more about her. All I know so far is that she is a rogue planet's ice strand at least 10 to 36 times heavier than me and about the size of Uranus. So the mystery of the fifth gas giant remains. I'm sure you're planning to talk to Jupiter about her side of the story. Just know that as much as I love her, she'll probably just make up some stupid lie. I mean, I wasn't going to ask her anyways, so yeah. Anyways, I got an Uno game with Mercury and Mars. Do you want to come? No, I'm good. Thanks. Your loss. So, the Earth told you I was going to lie to you? Damn! For such a small planet, she sure has a lot to say about me. But let me set the record straight. Here's how it all unfolded. Initially, I was on a path inward, heading closer to the sun. It seemed like I was destined to invade the inner solar system. Saturn and the fifth gas giant had a clever plan to change my course. Saturn decided to give the 5th gas giant a gravitational boost, sending her towards me. Their gravitational forces were meant to pull me back towards the outer solar system. As I moved inward, I entered into a special dance with Saturn, an orbital resonance. This was the turning point, known as the Grand Tack. My inward journey reversed, thanks to this cosmic ballet. The 5th gas giant played a crucial role too. Saturn's gravity scattered her inward, leading to close encounters with me. These interactions caused my orbit to jump rapidly, changing my distance from the sun. Ultimately, these repeated gravitational encounters and my short temper led to the fifth gas giant being ejected from the solar system. I still feel guilty about that. This ejection had profound effects. It shaped the current layout of our solar system's Jovian planets and influenced the formation of the Kuiper Belt. It's fascinating how interconnected everything is. And that's what I recall happening back then. Oh, and by the way, if you still think I'm lying, ask Saturn. He'll confirm everything I just said. So, Jupiter told you her side of the story last time, huh? I heard everything and I'm quite proud of her. I thought she would make some stupid shit up. Glad she proved me wrong. Anyways, let me tell you my version of the story. Imagine this, 4.3 billion years ago, I had a simple life without rings. Hard to believe, right? Nowadays, when earthlings think of me, they picture those famous rings. But there's more to me than that. Like the polar hexagon, my unique oval shape, or the great white spot. But you've never seen anyone talk about those features, right? <laughs> huh? Oh, oh yeah, the fifth gas giant. She formed between me and Neptune. Yes, Neptune used to be the second last planet in the solar system, with Uranus being last. One day, we met each other. We chatted for a long time, and we both realized we had a lot in common. Even though her orbit was a bit wild, partly due to me, and she knew that, we were both in love. 
Together, we came up with a plan to stop Jupiter from moving into and destroying the inner solar system. My idea was to give the fifth gas giant a push with my gravity, sending her towards Jupiter. We hoped our combined gravity with her closer to Jupiter would pull Jupiter back outwards. But things didn't go exactly as planned. My gravity might have pushed the fifth gas giant inward at first, making her cross Jupiter's orbit and move into the inner solar system. The plan kind of worked until Jupiter decided she had enough of the fifth gas giant. With a strong push, she sent the fifth gas giant out of the solar system, never to be seen again. I miss her a lot, and I still hope we'll meet again someday. And that is my story. I can see you're curious to know more. Who's next on your list? Neptune? Don't waste your time on him. It's not like he knows anything about this. <laughs> and so you came to me. Something tells me you want to talk about her, no? I know everything about the fifth gas giant, more than everybody. I was going to tell the Earth. She's been looking for her nonstop, but you'll do. This is what happened. Hey, Blue Ball, do you think this is getting out of hand? What's getting out of hand, Cyan Ball? Y you know, the fifth gas giant. She always tries to get our attention. I know she's just trying to be friendly, but she's also very disruptive. Maybe she has an unstable orbit? Well, obviously, she's believed to have an unstable orbit because of gravitational interactions with Jupiter. She may be even flung out of the solar system. Hey guys, what are we talking about? <laughs> We are talking about how you could get ejected from the solar system. I mean, you do argue with Stripe Ball a lot, so I wouldn't be surprised if she did eject you. Oh, you're so silly. My large mass can easily defeat Jupiter. Aren't you 9 to 31 times less massive than her though? Look, I'll figure it out. Now, I have to continue my extremely elliptical orbit. See you in a few thousand years. Am I the only one who has a suspicious feeling that we'll never see her again? Nope. Nope. Hey, have you seen the fifth gas strand? I haven't had someone annoy me in a while. How would I know? What? You're literally her neighbor. What the? So are you. Guys, I have terrible news. What? What is it? The fifth gas strand. She's gone. She got ejected from the solar system, meaning she was flung out of her orbit and expelled from the solar system. What? I guess my time in the solar system has come. I'll miss all of you. Now I feel bad. She was unpredictable, but she was one of us. Perhaps one day we can meet her again. One day. Hey, Triton, do you ever feel like things are a bit dull around here? Just me and Uranus as a lone frigid ice giant in the solar system. Hmm, maybe a little bit, but I keep busy hanging out with your other 15 moons, so it's not bad for me at all. Hey Neptune, have you heard the latest news about a ninth planet in our solar system? <gasps> ninth planet? Really? I'm intrigued. I'm gonna try and find it. Wait, Neptune, she's very far away from you. 13 to 26 times farther than you. Hey, <sighs> don't worry, Uranus. I'm already here. What the fuck? How do you know my name? I never told you my name. Oh, don't worry about it. I have my ways, darling. What's your name? Oh, uh, I don't have a name. I like to go by the name of Nine, or Planet Nine. I heard that you're a hypothetical planet. Can you tell us why you're hypothesized? I'm a hypothetical planet proposed to explain the strange orbital patterns of some extreme trans-Neptunian objects. These distant objects orbiting beyond Neptune show unusual clustering, suggesting a large unseen object is influencing them gravitationally. Here's a bit more detail. Astronomers have noticed that several extreme trans-Neptunian objects like Sedna and Kuhanua have clustered orbits. This pattern is unlikely if these objects were only affected by the known planets. I'm thought to be an ice giant possibly between 5 and 10 Earth masses, orbiting the Sun at a vast distance, perhaps 400 to 800 times farther than the Earth. Fascinating! Can I please call you the fifth gas giant? 
I prefer not to be called that, thank you. Oh, sorry about that, Planet Nine. Can me and Uranus be friends with you? Absolutely. Hello, the fifth gas giant. The what? I am not the fifth gas giant. I told you, Neptune. I don't want to be called that. You're so disrespectful. Neptune, why are you calling Planet Nine the fifth gas giant? She told us she doesn't like to be called that. Well, there are five gas giants here, and since Planet Nine is the fifth and farthest gas giant among us, I thought it made sense. Why don't you want to be called that anyway? I want to maintain my own distinct identity, separate from the narrative of the fully ejected fifth gas giant. Let me explain how we differ. The fifth gas giant was theorized to be ejected roughly 4.49 to 4.47 billion years ago, due to gravitational interactions with Jupiter and Saturn. Meanwhile, I am a proposed planet that still exists in the solar system, orbiting far beyond Neptune. It's estimated to take 10 to 20,000 years to complete one orbit around the sun. Evidence for the fifth gas giant is based on its potential role in shaping orbits of the other Jovian planets and the Kuiper Belt. The evidence for my existence, however, comes from the observed clustering of extreme trans-Neptunian objects. The fifth gas giant is hypothesized to be an ice giant with a mass 10 to 36 times that of the Earth and a diameter of 47,000 kilometers. Meanwhile, I'm significantly lighter and slightly smaller than the fifth gas giant. I'm between 5 and 10 Earth masses and about 46,600 kilometers. Some speculate that the fifth gas giant might have ended up in a distant orbit, becoming synonymous with me. However, my estimated mass and size suggest I'm more of a mini Jovian planet. Alright, alright, I get it. I'm sorry for calling you the fifth gas giant, Planet 9. Hey, don't worry, just don't call me the fifth gas giant anymore. Okay, Neptune? Okay. Ouch, what the heck? Hey. Hey, Taishi. Huh? What? Was that you? Um, what? Oh, don't act dumber than usual. Did you blow a dwarf planet into the back of my head? What? No. Why would I do that to you? Mm-hmm, sure. So, so it came out of nowhere, huh? Look, it was probably a trans-Neptunian object that had an unstable orbit and eventually crashed into you. Oh, just a trans-Neptunian object with a loosely good orbit and crashed into me! Yeah, don't think I see what you're doing, girl. Oh god, it's a fortune. What's wrong? Just calm down, alright, Neptune? I will not calm down because I know it was you! It wasn't me. Oh my god, look, Clary, you are so insecure about being 1.4 times Jupiter's size that you have to blow asteroids and dwarf planets behind my back. I don't think. And you know what? You're lucky that you have the same major access about 500 times further from the sun than I am. Or else I'll really show you what's what. Uh-huh. So my advice to you is to take your four Jupiter masses and back off. Hey, that means a stronger gravitational pull. And aren't you the one who needs to back off? It feels like if you're escalating everything. Oh, it's not my fault you can't keep your asteroids to yourself. You keep annoying me behind my back while you hide behind the orc cloud like a coward. Neptune, can you please calm down? Hush, Planet Nine! And you, Taishi, act on your insecurities by picking fights. The fuck are you doing, Taishi? Don't do what I think you're gonna do. Ah! Hey, stop it! Stop it! Leave me alone! Oh, you're gonna pay for that, you fucking dipshit. <gasps> Nice. Hi, Neptune. <laughs> Do not scare me like that. Jeez, sorry. You're not fun these days, Neptune. What do you want, Planet Nine? Am I actually an ice giant or am I something else? Well, you could be a rocky planet. Your estimated mass is key. It's between 5 and 10 Earth masses. 
that's obviously bigger than the Earth, but a lot smaller than me and Uranus. Did someone say bigger than the Earth but smaller than me? That sounds like a super terrestrial planet. That's right, Uranus. A super terrestrial planet is a rocky planet bigger than the Earth but smaller than me. So, if I'm not an ice giant, then I'm a super terrestrial planet? That sounds cool! It's just a possibility, remember, there's no direct confirmation, but the evidence leans more towards a super terrestrial planet classification for now. But what if she's a super duper terrestrial planet? Well, we have to wait and see Uranus, but either way, the mystery makes it all the more exciting. It's happening again, Leia Kuan Wuha. That tugging feeling. Holy shit, this gravity is too strong. I feel it too, Sunna. It's unsettling. I have no idea what is that. <laughs> Greetings, Sunna and Leia Kuan Wuha. No need for alarm. It's just me. Planet 9, always oh, just you. The tidal forces are intense and frightening. Yes, the gravitational pull is noticeable. We both have very different orbits, unlike the rest of the solar system. My orbit is also highly elliptical, meaning it is elongated, not a nice round circle like any major celestial body beyond Venus. The distance between my closest and farthest point is vast. How vast? It takes me 10 to 20,000 years to complete one orbit around the sun. My distance from the sun is also very weird. My closest point to the sun is 300 astronomical units, meanwhile my farthest is 1200 astronomical units. For comparison, Neptune is 30 astronomical units from the sun. My elongated orbit makes asteroids and dwarf planets have a wonky orbit as well. Okay, I understand. We will be following our normal orbits. See you, Planet 9. Dear planets of the solar system, After eons away, I'm returning to your celestial neighborhood. My journey through the galaxy has enriched me with new energies and secrets. Soon, my presence will shimmer your skies, subtly altering the cosmic dance. Prepare for a new chapter as I rejoin the planetary ballet. Embrace the mysteries I bring, for they hold the keys to understanding the galaxy's grand design. Sincerely, the fifth gas giant. What a surprise! It seems I've been discovered, caught in my internal twilight. I'm impressed. You managed to unlock the gates of my cosmic prison, the Oort Cloud. Congratulations, the Earth. But remember, the Earth, your journey isn't over yet. You've played your part by opening the gates, but now it's my turn to step out. Only I can re-enter the solar system and reclaim my lost home. Only I can reconnect with old friends and face old foes. And you know what, the Earth? It's time I reunite with my past. The sun, the These earth nuts, is cheating. So she uses Uncle, her life forms to Saturn make herself for the last hotter. Time. I'm Saturn, what the, the hell are you doing? <laughs> I am the hottest I planet I in the solar system. Um, I'll come back in like 3 billion years.